Howdy toddy everybody, this is Tommy with Colonel Ray Upscale Models coming at you with my entry into the 2014 Community Box Stock Build. Yeah, I know, I'm, all these group builds, I'm so far behind, but I think this group build in particular is probably, if not the most important, it's got to be one of the two most important uh, of the year. Um, I think it's actually the most important just because the fact it's box stock it's intended to um, for everybody just kind of you know show what they can do without adding all the photo etch and the aftermarket parts you know it gets down to um, building it um, how well you cover the basics uh, like like um, like Hunter says and um, in down to your paint and everything so I've, I've been wanting to get to one of these little Porsche kits that I have because Porsche is one of my probably my favorite uh, sports car um, you know growing up my dad had a Volkswagen repair shop during the 70s when the bug was in its heyday or I guess the waning years and so you know Volkswagen and Porsche engines are basically the same they're flat this one's a flat uh, four or flat six um, so I was around them a lot uh, growing up so I guess that's where I got the affinity for the Porsches um, especially you know just the look of the the, the 356 Speedster and and then carrying into the 911 obviously that carries on to this day um, so I had a few to pick from um, you know it was depending on where I want to do a uh, 132nd kit of a 935 or a 125th kit of the the Porsche Carrera RS from the early 7 I think 74 or some you know some 924s or something like that so I chose this one just because I think it it's going to build up nice as box stock it's pretty simple um, you know there's not a lot of interior that you're going to see because of the tonneau cover um, it, you know this is an older kit actually um, this one's dated from 1974 so I've, I've got this during my, my eBay buying days back um, around 2000, 2001, um, and it's a it's a competition speedster. Um, so when you see these cars, you'll see almost every one of them will be you know basically they're just little race cars, race car versions of the 356. Um, so it's an older kit, and um, I was a little hesitant about doing it just because when I was reading on the side um, of the box, and I don't know if I'll, if I'll see it from there on this side. Um, it just basically said that this this was uh, this kit was different um, than others, and one of the things that is different about this kit, um, and you can see the, this is a top view of the the interior. So all you're going to see of the interior is actually just the driver's seat. Um, one of the things that's different about this kit is the fact that these the lower bottle body panels here, from wheel well top of the wheel arch, the the rear of the wheel arch, that through there is a piece that I'm going to have to glue on. So I was a little hesitant about that, just trying to get the angles right and, and get it done in. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to open this up. Um, and look at this. That's the original price of the kit, $1.77. Um, so I've already cut this open just to make it easily open. It's pretty simplified. There's your decal set. The decals actually look to be pretty good for that age of a kit. You know, some stuff, you know, from, from Revel at the time, Revel at the time. Pretty simple instruction sheet. Not a lot of uh, steps. It's about 12 steps. Um, it's pretty simplified. The engine is very simplified. Um, the the Manx uh, that I'm doing now is, is more complicated than this one is. Um, so it should go together pretty easily, I think. And it's just a batter of just maybe weathering the bottom or or what have you. So here's the actual what I was telling you about the uh, kit and the body. That's the body itself, and you can see right there nothing between the front and the rear wheel so that's where that panel like I'll show you the separate one because they're connected that's where that panel would go so it's going to go something like that so I'm going to have to glue that so that should be that should be interesting um, luckily there is uh, right along the, the ridge there that is a, a, a piece of a chrome that would run down the side or a piece of the body panel there um, so it'll be interesting to see it's got rubber two-piece tires which they're not very thick even when you put them together um, but there's a little bit of flash I mean it's an old kit obviously um, I've seen some 
on eBay that's been, it's, I think it was repopped like in 94, maybe 96, um, with some different box art, but it's basically still the same. But it's a, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I like the looks of the car. I, I went online, did some research, got some pictures off of, uh, of Google images and you know there's different paint schemes that you'll see um, obviously not on this 40 car but um, there's some with some multicolors and things like that so looking forward to getting started on this one I'm gonna try to finish up uh, get that the cancer awareness build finished up um, and then get started on this one I'm not going to finish on time I know that um, no way no how um, but I wanted to join in. I'm hoping they can hit the 100 mark. I know they're at about 90 or 91. Um, so I'm just calling out, as everybody else is, all those folks out there. Um, and I just got some, some new subscribers that have, you know, less than 10 or 15 subscribers. No videos. So, you know, I'm calling out all those fellas. You know, make this your first video to introduce yourself to the community. You know, it's, it's very important. It's, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. You just got to take the plunge. Jump in there build a kit, box stock, you know, everybody's on the same level playing field as far as what the kit will entail. So it's just a matter of, you know, putting your kit together. You don't have to worry about wiring and aftermarket parts and photo etch and all this kind of stuff. Just get the kit built. It doesn't matter how simple it is. It could be a snap kit, whatever. Just get yourself um, a kit, get it built, get some videos up, jump in on the fun of building with the community and sharing your work. And I particularly want to call out, um, and I haven't heard from him since the Aniston uh, car show last year, but um, you know, I, I ran into James. I think James maybe plays with trucks, maybe in the box stock build. I can't remember. I've been so far behind on videos, guys. I mean, I'm just barely able to watch any two or three a day at the most. Um, so I don't know who's in, who's out. I've watched, um, and I, I mean, I've watched uh, DJ Scratchy's video and and watch the roll and everything it's, and there's a lot of people in a lot of a lot of good builders um, in there a lot of new ones which is good I think uh, Chevy wanted 10 new ones so um, I want to to see if the guys that I ran into and you know who you are if you watch this video you know who you are you had at that time this is back in March had been um, had been watching videos for about five or six months you know now it's here October time to jump in you know if you haven't and I don't think you have because I don't remember seeing you um, unless you just haven't came in front of the camera uh, I'd like to see you jump in and 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 hopefully by the time we hopefully see each other again at Aniston you'll have made several videos and have some builds under your belt uh, within the community so I challenge you two fellas uh, and then also I've been plugging at uh, Panzer Panzer man's uh, uh, bill um, to, I know he doesn't do box stock to get in there and just do something for the community. I think he, he, he brings a lot of weight from the armor side and from the military side. And it's good to see some of those guys, you know, jumping in with, you know, with Aaron Newlands doing the Ferrari and, and uh, Chris and Alex modeling jumping in. So it's good to see all those guys that normally do the military, uh, whether it be planes and, or tanks or whatever that they're jumping in on the box stock bill. Whether they do a car, you know, Aaron's doing his first car, which is great. Um, you know, you don't have to, you just build something. It doesn't matter. So as long as it's box stock. So anyway, so I want to get started on this one after I finish the cancer awareness build. Just another group build that I won't be finishing on time, but I wanted to be part of it. Um, and I think it's important to get as many people out there doing their builds and especially getting those new guys to start posting their videos. So anyway, as always, fellas, uh, keep those styrene dreams alive. Hotty toddy and God bless.